Hello and welcome to a Trend Micro Network Security Endpoint tutorial. In this video, we're going to walk through the settings and route table changes needed for the application load balancer deployment model. Luckily, only a few changes are needed, so let's go ahead and jump right in. To give you a better idea of what we're trying to accomplish, shown here are example diagrams of before and after the route table changes are made. As you can see, we are inserting both of the network security endpoints right between the private subnets and the public subnets for two different availability zones. With the application load balancer deployment model, we want to protect all traffic for the application load balancer's target group in the private subnets. The routes we create will inspect all traffic between the private subnets and the internet, and all traffic between the private subnets and all public subnets. If you're looking to do something different, you will need to look into one of our other deployment models to set up your environment. This tutorial uses an example for two availability zones, but if you have additional availability zones you would like to protect, you will need additional network security endpoints for each extra availability zone and also additional route table changes, which will be mentioned. It is also worth noting that if you're hosting servers behind the application load balancer that use TLS encryption, you may want to look into setting up TLS termination through the application load balancer so traffic is decrypted before being inspected. For the purposes of this video, we are starting with the basic setup where traffic from the private subnets is routed to the NAT gateways within the public subnets, and traffic from the public subnets is routed to the internet gateway. We'll go ahead and remove these lines describing the flow of incoming traffic, but keep in mind that this is how traffic will flow until the second route table change is made. We are also assuming you already have network security endpoints created within the VPC for each availability zone you want protected. If you don't have them created yet, please refer to the Trend Micro Network Security Endpoint documentation for how to create them. Just a note, as we make changes, this diagram will be updated to reflect those changes. The subnets the network security endpoints are in will need route tables associated with them. So if you haven't already, create new route tables and associate them with the endpoint subnets. Repeat this for any additional availability zones you are using. If your internet gateway is not attached to your VPC, go ahead and attach it now. We'll go ahead and add a line representing both public endpoints routes to the internet gateway, which already exist. Next, we'll add a line representing routes from the internet gateway to the public subnets, where the application load balancer resides. This comes from the main VPC route table's local route, which already exists. We'll also add a line representing the route from both endpoint subnets to both private subnets, which comes from the endpoint subnets default local route, which also already exists. Lastly, we'll add a line representing the endpoint subnets route to the application load balancer, which comes from the endpoint subnets local route which is the last route we'll add that already exists. The first route we will add is for the endpoint subnets route tables, which will forward outbound inspected traffic to the corresponding availability zones NAT gateway. If you're setting up more than two availability zones, add this route for each other endpoint subnets route table. The second route we will add is for the public subnet route tables, which will route traffic received by the application load balancer to the network security endpoints before being sent to the target group in the private subnets. The route's private subnet ciders should point to the network security endpoint within the same availability zone. Additional routes would need to be added for each additional availability zone to all public subnet route tables. The third and final routes we will change is from the private subnets to the network security endpoint, so outbound traffic is inspected before going to the internet or to the public subnets. Unlike in the last step, the next hop will always be to the network security endpoint where the public subnet you're modifying exists. You will also need to change the route to the internet's next hop to the network security endpoint. If you are setting up additional availability zones, add routes to each additional public subnet site range to all private subnet route tables. Congratulations, your application load balancer traffic is now being inspected by Trend Micro's network security endpoint. Be sure to check the Trend Micro network security endpoints documentation on how to test your setup. Thank you for checking out our routing guide for the application load balancer deployment model. We hope to see you in another video.